Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another awesome day here on the Mega Shop Project here on the Stony Ridge Farm. So the work crew is out here. We've got all the pipe work in. We've got all of the rebar in place. And we'll take you guys along and show you the concrete trucks are on the way. And today's the day we're gonna be pouring the footings for the mega shop. So come along today as we show you guys, I guess this is probably part four of the mega shop. We got everything graded out and we're getting ready to pour concrete. Welcome back to the farm channel. If this is your first time here, please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. We are just about to pour concrete on the mega shop. This is your first time to the channel. This is a shop project that has been in the works for about six years here on the Stony Ridge Farm. You can see we've got some land cleared down here, so we'll have a beautiful view. That's also so the power company can run their power up here. I've got a few pipes stubbed up right here in case we decide to put some plumbing in this building. I'm not totally sure exactly how it's all gonna work. So what we have uh, is a 50 by 112. So there are four 28 foot bays in here. This is gonna serve as the farm office and the rest is gonna serve as uh, farm storage and farm uh, place to work on farm equipment pretty much. This is an awesome shop. It's a steel structure. In other words, it's a red iron steel structure. I'll have really heavy red iron beams. And consequently, we have huge piers right here and a bolt system. So we'll walk you around and show you all the rebar that went into this job and we'll show you the bolt system. You're gonna hear some work and these guys are out here getting everything done, getting it ready. Uh, final grade has been done. They'll pour footings today and they'll pour the pad probably somewhere in the next two weeks or something like that. We're supposed to get rain tonight. This is expensive, $66,000 just for the concrete work, guys. So it's very, very expensive. There's nearly $40,000 of steel here with everything going up sky high. Steel prices are sky high. Gravel, rock, concrete, everything costs more. Labor, fuel, all that stuff. So let's take you around. We'll show you all this stuff and how it's all put together. So you'll see the three middle piers. One, two, three middle piers. And these are the piers that are gonna be supporting the most weight. Uh, you can see there's a grid work right here that's all put together and this is heavy duty rebar. Rebar is running through the entire footing all the way around here. And there'll be a concrete pad that's poured over this entire area. It'll be about five inches thick in some places, six inches thick in other places. Uh, you can see these are the bolts that hold the piers in place right here, massive bolts. And these massive bolts are set down deep in the concrete right here. So uh, that's how the piers are bolted in. And there's one exactly like this matching right over there. So that's how it works. These are little support, almost like little pyramids that help support the rebar and get it up off the ground. Cause you gotta have something to support your rebar to get it up out of the dirt. Okay, so that it's structurally sound. You can see these twist ties right here. They ran all down through here and that's what holds the rebar together in place. And I believe that's five eighths thick rebar. You can see right there, there's another bolt set up and there are bolt setups all the way along this thing. So let's go around the perimeter real quick. This is the framework again and I think we'll be pouring right up to about the six inch mark from the top on the framework. See how these are set up on bricks right here. That's helped get that, uh, that whole frame up out of the ground. Again, you got four more bolts right there. Here's our four inch drain pipe right here. And all this has been compacted. What's gonna be in here is potentially a three bay sink. And I got this set up just in case I decide I wanna put some plumbing in here. So uh, we'll make sure that we're covered there. Very, very cool. Look down through here. That's where, if we have plumbing, our leach field or drain field will go out through there. Um, again, not getting permits for all that stuff yet, but we'll have to for sure if we decide to run some plumbing. There's four more bolts. You can see how these guys made a template. They have plans for this thing. There's an engineered plan. So this isn't just willy nilly. It's all engineered, pre-engineered to be built, okay? and the concrete truck, I can hear it <laughs> coming. So pretty cool to be able to see this and how it all works and how it all bolts together. Lots more to come, guys. 
So you might be wondering, how in the world do they know this entire thing is level? And it has to be within one inch or we're gonna be wasting concrete. The way that we know this and the way that we know all the forms are level and square is they take a measuring tape and they go a metal measuring tape, not a plastic one because it will stretch, but they'll take a metal measuring tape and go from corner to corner. So from that corner to that corner, that corner, to that corner and measure it and get it square within about a quarter of an inch. Pretty insane. The way they make sure it's all level and the forms are all level is this laser critter right here. This thing is spinning around right now and they have a measuring stick and they'll go around and touch the top of the forms all the way around to make sure the entire pad is level. Really, really cool. There is one spot that the concrete's gonna be a little bit thicker, and that's right in here, and that's where our four post and two post lifts are gonna go here in the mega shop. Awesome, guys. So let's get this concrete truck in here and show you guys the pour.
So guys, if you're scratching your head a little bit about what's going on here, once the truck leaves here or is empty, he has to rinse it out and keep it clean. This thing rotates and on a cool day, it'll stay liquid for about four to five hours, but it will set up with this thing turning. So that's why you see concrete trucks going down the road with this barrel turning right here is because that keeps the concrete from setting up and hardening. You can ruin a concrete truck if you're not keeping that thing spinning. So about three hours on a hot sunny day. Today, 60 degrees, about eh, three to five hours. Cool, almost done, crazy. 46 yards of concrete and a truck on standby. So it could be as much as 50 yards just in this portion here. Second truck's already here, guys. We're moving and shaking. Two hours, that's how long it took to get all this concrete poured right here. Uh, you can see the footings are just about done. We're starting to get that water on the top right here. The footings don't need to be really, really smooth like the pad that's gonna go over top of this. So all of this will be in concrete. I'm not sure how much concrete it's gonna take uh, to finish the pad, but we'll let you guys know. We'll see you in the next video in the series on the Mega Shop right here. Uh, this is 46 yards of concrete down in two hours. All these bolts are all set in the appropriate places and we're making progress in the right direction. So looking good. <laughs> uh, it's really awesome to be able to get our uh, concrete trucks in here. In other words, it's not muddy, it's not nasty. They didn't use a pump truck, didn't have to use a pump truck since they had those mechanized wheelbarrows to bring all this stuff in. So it's finishing up nice, looking good. And again, like I said, guys, only <laughs> two hours and it's done that quick. Lots of prep work though. 30 hours plus of prep work right here, guys. Thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing well. I want to give me a woo, woo, woo. <laughs> there we go. See y'all, take care. See you in the next vid. Awesome. We'll talk about these drains and all that stuff in the next video. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wild.